later stages as well with the soul catchers. Do you think oh, they might want to so go for like if you have if you have an OD shadow demon, you have like two saves, which uh, Team Secret likes to have from time to time. They I kind of like maybe before. Invoker more because they have like set up for Sunstrike. Maybe that's also like a good, a good combo to. I like, we, we've seen that before in the past because the Soul Catcher amplifies the Sunstrike a lot. I mean, those are options, and they do run like Invoker from time to time. There's definitely a lot of like options you can go for with this opening. It doesn't reveal too much about what your direction is. They have uh, catch, they have good team fight, laning phase is okay. It's more of like the general direction, how they feel that they want to play against Vici. Last, last game, Vici had a very, very heavy team fight composition. So maybe they will want to like go for more team fight themselves this game instead of just trying to counter pick a lot like the last game. So with the Nyx Assassin ban, they probably want to aim for OD, OD. again. Yeah. yeah, either that or they want to have an off laner, a bat rider. But it's not that good against the Shadow Demon because you can just use the use the disruption. And the purge is annoying for you too when you're grabbing when you're kidnapping the enemy here. Yeah. Other heroes that protects too. Pugna, there's also potential. Mm -hmm. Tinker. Yeah. Close true. Uh, so. There's no Elder Titan this game for Lamb. I would say a good replacement would actually be the Kanka. Bane plus Kanka. Laning phase not as strong, but you, you, you get a lot of like useful uh useful stuff like the team fight. You're gonna provide a lot for that. You have uh X mark to initiate. There's something else I haven't thought about here is the Naga. The Naga for what Vichy? Mm. They don't have like a song into like a super combo though, so I'm not very sure about that. You, generally, you see teams uh, p pairing Naga with a combination hero. Ten seconds remaining. So they go back for the OD. Yeah. Five that is a very strong. We'll see where the secret decide to take it away. Unlikely with mm. what they picked so far though. Sniper will be good against OD. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll see a few of those. Yeah, during the group stage, very effective. That's well against the sniper. Yeah. Yeah. Or they could do a TB fourth pick. TB is quite good against the their bat. heroes. Yep. Block deny as well. He has to be very careful with his initiations, though, because you mentioned the double save from Bane. OD, but definitely like a a, a good pick because of the the lane matchup. If you ever end up, if it's a carry OD, OD doesn't really like laning. It's a bad rider. Bad rider is also really good against a, a carry, like if Tiny's carry. Yeah. So it pretty much uh, makes it a bit uh annoying for Vichy because you don't want to lane any of those calls against the bad rider. You're you're probably gonna want like some like life stealer. Juggernaut, Weaver kind of hero. Someone that lanes well against the Bat Rider. Juggernaut. Those so are uh, the so heroes. A hero that's good against the Bat Rider. So I guess this is the the hero that they're gonna lane up against the the Bat Rider. It doesn't seem that strong at all. I mean, it's it's good because you, he he's probably you. gonna scale one yeah. one one with the, with the time dilation. He slows bad riders so much, and mm -hmm. it puts it on the cooldown. But, but most of the teams just pick uh, either life stealer, which is bad choice against the shadow demon, of course. But uh, then you have Weaver that they could have gotten maybe. It's very dead. greedy though, like having Void and OD. Like both of those heroes need a lot of farm, and they are very long cooldown ulti heroes. Yeah. Oh. Probably gonna be in a you don't think it's a carry void and off lane tiny? Uh, they're still mm. thinking. I mean, they can swap things around to see what the what the matchup is. Their most popular way of playing the void is with paparazzi on it. Eleven barely played it. What about if they swap the tiny to the off lane already and play eleven on that? Because they have done that a little mm -hmm. more often. Maybe, but we'll have to see. R right now, I'm leaning more towards like Secret going to aim to play like a quicker game. Could late. They have like maybe a Sand King Bat Rider right? dual lane to pressure 
Uh, I could see TB still working because they have the disrupt to save him during the chronosphere. TB is great against like the OD because you outrange him. Off the lane. But they have so much dis. I don't know. They have like so much disables for him. There's disable. I mean that's true. We, we've seen uh, certain. Uh, what was it? Uh, there was a game where the team had a long cooldown, and the enemy team just abused the rush to deal with the cooldowns. Ah, oh, CK. They're going for the red lineup, and their illusion dire... lineup. Come yeah. on, illusion lineup. <laughs> I mean, OD deals well with the illusions, uh, but it's a long cooldown. It's it's not that strong. If you think about it, uh, he can't really hit CK. If he splits and uh, tries to go on you, you're gonna probably need to back out. So a lot of uh, a lot of control coming out from Team Secret already. They could use some tower damage as well, some earlier tower damage since uh, CK is banned out. How does Lash do against uh, against OD on a mid lane? Should be alright. I think, I think Lash will win the lane if Because uh, Lash is so strong right now. You just like spam lightning. I, I think you'll be doing fine. Get my last hits. It's our first CK of the tournament, by the way. Only our second Shadow Demon as well. Oh, there was one game Shadow Demon? Yeah. But they lost, I think. They it did. was Mineski or. Yeah. Mm. Ten seconds remaining. They have they have remaining. so much stuns for Suntrack. I I, I kind of still like uh, the Invoker pickup for them. Oh, so oh, they actually made one Kunkka. They actually take the Kunkka. I mean, ding. it's uh it's actually really good uh, against the the Chrono because you just like mitigate all the damage dealing uh coming out into the Chrono and it's also a hero that would deny pick uh, finish yeah. Vichy's lineup. So I think that's uh. That's quite a good pick here for Secret. Finishing their lineup, they have a lot of uh, setups for the Torrent, the Bolt combo. No, no red draft either for Lacoste, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, oh, that, that's a okay. lot. Of, long, what? A that's lot of all saves. Cool down. Like, that's big all cool. cooldowns. But, yeah. So it is an offlane void. Hmm. Uh, Boss lineup mm -hmm. this time with more combo. You feel like it's not nearly as strong nah, I think at the start. Too greedy though, I feel. Yeah, I agree. I, th mm. I gotta give Yep. Okay. The secret for Jack. Same for me. They have the better draft, they have the better team. They played really well last game and yeah, secret. Okay. Sign me up as well. For Team Secret. I mean, yeah. I, I love the draft overall. Uh, it, it has more synergy, they have a good save, and it's going to be pretty hard to fight. Uh, even if they land the Chrono, there's a disruption. You need to catch uh, either Shadow Demon or Kanka. If he uses a boat, that's going to mitigate a lot of the damage. All right, okay. Well, they're all on the Team Secret train here at the panel. Time to head back to the arena and join Capitalist and Blitz for game number two. Well, I can tell you this crowd certainly isn't on the secret chain. They're hoping that Vici Gaming will be able to close this out 2-0. Winter did say he expected for game two secret they were going to run something a little bit more normal draft-wise. Now, it's not the most normal draft in the world, but it does seem like the panel prefer it. Yeah, it's I, it's secret normal. I yes. see a lot of people And the talking fact that they have Kunkka yeah, mid. Like, yeah. Okay. They have an Where ace hero. The thing is... When it works, it really works. And sometimes mm -hmm. in Dota, you're going to look a little bit silly because you're going to be the first people to try something out a little bit different. Like when VP picks CM, it's like, well, it's genius. Yeah. But if Secret loses with it, it's like suddenly she's a garbage hero. No, it doesn't work like that. Dota and, never works like that. And which would you rather be? Would you rather be Secret, look a little foolish sometimes, but still be one of the best yeah. teams in the world with a big hero versatility? Or would you rather be Newbie, who are like, well, this is a strategy that we know in and out and are still losing. Yeah. Fortune favors the bold. Mm. Somebody told me, uh, I can't remember who it was, it was like, they, I think I told you this quote a while ago, like, Newbie's a good team, but they're super predictable. Yeah. Like, the Chinese teams in that regard are, they be, they're becoming more predictable. Like, the, the movements that they make, the picks that they, they make, they're becoming a lot more static. 
and as a result, like the scene is suffering a little bit. And the teams that are willing to venture and play very aggressively and play to win are the ones that are succeeding right now. And we oh, saw that last the game. Eleven. Oh no, 11. he's going to use a time walk. Then. That's not a good sign. Goes to the torrent. He's not going to land that, but they still have the burrow strike to set up it the also cool disruption a possible. 14 seconds, all 11, you're just going to have to straight up juke this one out. He's going to be next to the cliff. This is a good time for disruption from Puppy. Lays it out now. They've got another Burrow Strike coming up. That's going to be surrounding Old Eleven. He's not going to be able to make his way around these illusions. And that will be your first blood for Yapsor. Eleven is, and that's what we talked about in the last game, where sometimes Eleven will just do stuff. Yeah. And he's going to die, and you're going to laugh at him, but... He's going to be 0-4 and forward, somehow winning his lane. That might just be true because he is in a 1v1. Once again, Vici Gaming are going to try and set that one up for him. I think it was Secret last time who tried to do the aggro try lane. Our mid lane matchup is going to be the OD versus the Kunkka. Mid one, especially heroes of his. Yapser does have the boots first. They're going to be able to get the Corn Tori combination off of this one. The Imprisonment not going to be there for Paparazzi, just going to get back to the tower though and will survive off of about 70 HP. Not getting early levels here. So what does that mean? Our aggro tri lane is the, uh, the Tiny, Bane, and Phoenix. What do you think about this Phoenix last pick? The panel seemed to hate it. They hated it, huh? Yeah. What is the change? Uh, the AoE is bigger. Yep. From the Supernova, goes from 1,000 to 1,300, yeah. so a pretty big increase. And you turn into, like, the literal sun. And you are now the literal sun. There is no darkness or Luna ult that can change. Yeah, you take mid priority. Mid one. Oh. Mid one. Mid one? Mid one? Paparazzi? Mid one. Oh, okay. Hey, he knew he was going to be fine. He was chill the entire <laughs> time. Didn't even sweat it. Well, he is at least going to be able to send mid walk. Mid one, the long walk back to base. Illusion rune at bottom. Ooh, I like that. Rune cam. And Yapsor is going to take over the lane for the time being. Ace is kind of suffering as a result of this, though. They don't yeah. have three heroes up here. And Puppy is Shattered only an SD. In. You get to do that, but... Defensive disruption every 25 seconds is not a great way to be able to win the lane. And Tiny is going to rock you when it comes to uh, CS, that's for sure, thanks to his tree. Pretty hard to beat that one, even with the Chaos Knight, who naturally has some very great stats. Ace, taking a little bit more harassment here, down to below half HP. Bottom does have his level 2 if they want to go for this dive, and sure enough, they will go for the dive out. Ace is going to be slowed down, managed to get the stun. Oh, that's a lot of out damage. On, but they've already slowed down the attack speed. He does have the Shadow Poison on him. Managed to get a Magic Wand out. A little bit more damage coming out from the Fire Spirits. Lance on Ace. Bottom's going to challenge Ace. See if he can get the hit in first. He's getting it and first. he looks like he's going to be able to challenge that 1v1 and win it. Ori needs to make his way out. Does have a toss up. Going to be hit by the Caustic Finale. Toss him over to the Creeps. That's a good way to separate. In instant stun onto the Bane. Does have Brain Sap though. He'll turn around. Does also have a Nightmare. So he'll down Yapsor. Puppy has no more mana. Wakes up Yapsor. Looks for the burst strike in one second time. Oh no! Doesn't oh. get it! Yapsor, whoopsies! The whiff. It this. looked like he just got tossed into a kill on the pain instead. Yeah. He's like, take him instead. <laughs> but instead it's going to lead to nothing from Secret and Beachy going to walk away with the second kill of the game. Could have been the first blood if it wasn't for uh, 11's move that he made and like we talked about 11 despite the deaths this guy almost always seems to do well in his lanes so we've seen a lot of kunkas picked up against gyrocopters what do you think about the core kunka in this game for secret i think it's okay uh there's a lot of follow-up damage i'd mm -hmm. imagine it's good against the tiny and the void you can't really do too much about the x with those heroes it lends itself to a lot of team fight, at the very least. Yeah. Jump onto Ori. Nothing major going to come of it here. We do have an Invis rune spotted by the Illusion of the Bat Rider. Not sure if anybody on Secret's really going to take advantage of that mid one. Taking a lot of damage here. Fortunately for him, though, Paparazzi got a little bad luck and is now out of mana. Didn't get the procs that he needed to keep those arcane orbs going. Mid-1 using a lot of his money, though, on just regen. 
Brought another salve, has one queued up. Doesn't get the... Oh, there he grabs it. More and more orbs. All right, you got one more. Then Paparazzi, you really gonna say this for our forward? Midwan is now Paparazzi. healed up. He's just... Oh, he doesn't seem to care. He's taken so much mana away from the Kunkka that... He, he has no mana to be able to torrent. Yeah, he's got enough for the X. <laughs> and he's got to be careful about that, because he doesn't have the Astral. Yeah. This is going to force... Oh, they, they know. He wants to rotate to the Shrine. They absolutely know what's going on. The Batrider catches him in the act. All right, that was pretty easy to read. Minwad's like, this guy's sticking around until five minutes. Fada, come kink him for me. Fada, just get, get this fool out of here. Yeah, get him out of here. And he, that's exactly what happens. He dies. Get this man out. That's going to help Fada's game a lot. Yeah, because he was already having a rough game in this bottom lane. 29 and 12 for old 11. But that is a solo kill on an OD that was level 5, the highest level in the game. So that's going to bump him back up in levels. He was a full level behind the faces for it before that. Ori. It'll go on Ori. Fire Spirits immediately come out from the Phoenix, fearing that there was going to be a go here. Yeah. And you can definitely tell this this lane, it cannot kill you with just spells. It's got to get some right clicks in, so the Fire Spirits is actually pretty effective at slowing down the Chaos Knight's damage. More salves. So much of mid one's gold going just for regen. So he may be kind of close to the OD when it comes to CS, but oh, now that he's dead, oh! Oh my goodness! Those sounds. How does mid one keep doing this? He keeps on surviving top lane. Managed to get a two-man stun. Avalanche comes out first though. And here comes the Bane. Managed to get a Nightmare onto Yamsor, woken up by Puppy. So he's just gonna walk away. He does have a healing salve to be able to use after the poison fades. Everyone's got a salve. Mid one looks like he used the shrine up bottom. And now he's gonna return to the lane with full everything. But with 20 int built up on this OD. Again, we're going to go over the top lane. Disruption onto Ori. Not going to slow him down. He's going to be able to get the toss combination on the Sand King. A jump forward by Lana. Lana. He wants to be able to go for more. Gets the Fire Spirit on Ace. Again, to slow down that damage. Ace is not able to stick around and really go for the kill on Lana. As a result, they have to back away. Vici Gaming looking a little worse for wear here after that fight. But they did manage to get the kill. That's what's important. And mid one is really... Getting annoyed right now in this lane, but I mean, you don't have to win this aggro lane if you're Vici Gaming, right? Because you're winning mid and bottom so handedly. I mean, it's going okay for them so far, but net worth is what matters. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is our what is our OD's net worth? Why is it? It's got some items on courier or what? It's got to. Okay, we got a lot more items coming in. No, no, those are Fenrir's nope. items. None of those are his. Did we miss something? I think my... Why is he missing so much? My dude's just poor, I think. Oh. Lasso into a torrent nice combination, timing. but he does have a wand as well. Oh, he time walk. He's going to be able to survive. He's going to chronosphere this to stay alive, or is he gonna, just going to try and run away? Four sticky napalm stacks, and he does have a One. shrine up. He'll stay alive a little bit longer for now. Now the Chronosphere goes out, stays inside the Shrine area, has no the help from shrine. his allies, so... Okay. Didn't want to blow that ultimate, finally had to. A toss back onto a sleep target. That is going to be awkward for Ace. The tri-lane continues to stay kind of even. Vici Gaming. Remaining here all the way into eight and a half minutes, which is longer than we see most tri lanes stick around. Lasso used by Fana, not able to get the kill on the void. Nothing happens as a result. Both players mid are just really poor. Yeah, they, I was about to say, I'm like both at our OD and our Kunkka, and they are exceptionally poor. Yeah, there's some like weird poverty battle going on right now. They just like mass I, out I can the understand knives. it from mid one because he bought a lot of selves. Yeah. And our OD also denied 27 times, but he's also got 40 CS, so... Yeah. He bought, like, five salves just to be able to survive in that lane. To his credit, he didn't die. And both games now, this is some of the worst starts I've seen for mid-1 in the series. Value Shrine here. Maybe this will change. After all, it is a big team fight hero. Once you get to level 7, level 8, you've got a lot of kill potential on solo heroes the chain stun of the torrent and the boat so 
There is opportunity for mid one to just kill his way into a lead. Yeah, that's what he's gonna have to do. Yeah, so instantly cancels his sandstorm thinking that there's vision there. I think the sentry just faded. It's gonna reset things a little bit, but it is a early 1k gold lead. Um, just a 10 minutes, these teams look so evenly matched. By the way, I wanted to mention in game number one, mm -hmm. it felt like even though Secret had like a little bit of a lead that VP was, or Vici was going to win that game, right? Yes. And I think it comes down to the fact that they didn't have anyone to deal with the lanes. Okay. And so if you notice, like every time Secret would try to go for a play, Vici would always shove in the lanes because of the Abaddon being able to play aggressively. Right. But in this game, they've got the Bat Rider that can do it, the Kunkka that can do it. Like they have two heroes that can Sand aggressively. King. Yeah. Super good support They've got for three it. heroes that can do it. And the Shadow Demon with Poison. So oh, now yeah. it's a lot more focused on dealing with the waves so that they can make plays. Mid one, seeing if he can catch someone with this push coming in the top lane. Meanwhile, a nightmare out. Sand King gonna come back out. Yapsir yeah, does manage to hit the burrow strike onto the OD. Yeah, a little bit of an unlikely survive. kill. Does Lanham get caught just yet? They spotted him for a second off the poison. The torrent's gonna come out as well. Does it land? Lanham will stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, the Kunkka is wasting so much time on this. He needs to get a kill. Even if he exits, he doesn't have the torrent follow up. Lanham is aware of that. Meanwhile, or is uh, as the tiny. That's the other core that's missing. Vici Gamer using him to jungle, while Secret is using mid one to try and take a tower, and they will take it too. See if they get the get to the deny. The nice play. Time walks, time walks forward so that they can coordinate the deny. Very so well done. This is pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a, a tiny jungle this extensively around that 10 minute mark, but he is off map, and once he picks up this Shadow Blade, there's no reason for Secret to really know when he's going to pop out and kill somebody. You notice that mid one just continues to try to go for kills right now. Bottom lane, they're, yeah, they're going to try and go for another kill here. The Burrow Strike into the Torrents. Now a boat with an X. Wow, that is a lot of commitment from Secret to kill a Bane. I think he's decided that he needs kills to get back into this game. And he's not wrong. I like what they're doing though. They're trying to give both their supports to the side lanes. Give them XP. Phoenix is a greedier support. Puppy gonna run into this Phoenix. He's gotta be careful. He's out of mana. Puppy is not gonna be able to take advantage of this one. And they are gonna use the Chronosphere for the kill. 11. He's just feeling it, you know? Why not? And sometimes it's hard to get the make Chronosphere early on feel very useful. Yeah. So to get those kind of kills oh, worth it now, rider. time dilation, it's going to slow down the Bat Rider who He's popped the Invis Rune after throwing down the Sticky Napalm. So he can just get in front of this push with his fire and do so completely unpunished. That's going to force Vici down here if they want to take this fight. If they can't take the tower, they'll challenge the push at bottom lane. And they're going to go for mid one with a Shadow Blade. They've almost blown him up already. Another tree smack to the face. Mid one drops down. Vici Gaming get the advantage once again. A thousand gold lead plus four to three gold uh, hero lead. They're playing so fast around the map. They make that top play. They immediately go for bottom. Secret thought that was just going to be a gimme tower. But Vici says... Nothing is free in this world. And now, this Ori Shadow Blade Tiny is such a big threat. Watch him. It's so fast. He's going to hit Yaptor, blow him up with a combination, and he doesn't really even need the help of the Faceless Void. The timing on it is so quick. Their decision to go for the aggro, secure his lane, has really paid off. Level All right, Lana does have these. Okay, that is 100%. He dangerous. did not get any Fire Spirits out. That was optimistic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what he thought was going to happen there. But now Supernova is on cooldown and he's dead. They're going to go for the kill here on Ace with Ace the Fiend's Grip. grip. And they the can actually just get one or two bashes. They definitely got this kill and they've already got it. They even brought Paparazzi over just to make sure. You can see Vici Gaming, they keep on bringing those extra heroes to these kills just to ensure they actually do get it and there's no team fight from Secret behind it. Yeah. They're just saying get the kill move. And I like it. Their cores are being really abusive right now. This is how you're going to create space with this OD, but with a lot of these abilities down, Secret going to come down, try to make the defense themselves. Both teams defending out their tier 1 towers. What do you think about this Helmet Dominator build? For, uh... Oh, Ori's going to be caught. One second stun, that's all, and Ori will get away with a Shadow Blade. And the rest of the heroes from Vici Gaming are... Chrono and two. About to come one. into this mid lane. Thought better of it. Sorry, what was your question? Helmet Dom for uh, the Void. 
I noticed that everyone just seems to get it now on offlaners. Like, Underlords, yeah. Void, why not? It's good control. It adds another layer of team fight. Here in this uh, situation, it gives you a stun. This is... Actually, this is what I wanted to mention about it. Oh, well, that thought 11. He's going to be copied the imprisonment. Fada. I wonder if he just goes for it. Yeah, I think he's got to maybe just leave. Maybe he gets strike two here. Okay, maybe they're going to be able to fight this one. The three man toy. With the ball coming yeah, from behind. The old... And now the turnaround secret will overwhelm VG Gaming in a beautiful combination. Midwan said, I got to get some kills to get back in this game. And boy, did he. Just managed to pick off two cores of VG Gaming. Might just find a support oh, here. Knocks oh. him out. Flame break, that's not going to land the torrent. Fenrir's going to make sure the they slow down some of these heroes. They do manage to get the X, and he does have a supernova. Going to be pulled back, managed to get the flight away. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't close enough to get a disable off of it. Oh, that three-man torrent was disgusting. Yeah. And the follow-up ult from Yapsor. Ori. Oh, don't do it, Ori. He Ori. was thinking about it. He thought about it. Be careful. <laughs> this is not the fight that you want to take, even with the supernova. And indeed, he's just going to farm the creep secret. Looked like they were going to disengage, but with three levels of X, mid one right now is looking for it. But instead, it's just going to deal with the wave. And they're going to send heroes up the top. All right, William. We might have a fight here, but I did notice you had that that moment of brilliance. Yeah, I figured it out. Uh, okay. At least I think I did. Hold that thought. As <laughs> secret. Wait. I, they've got vision here, so they should know about this. There's no way they take a bad fight. Yeah. Both teams have vision in this area. Alright, so uh, I think that Void's biggest issue in the mid and early game is that you can't get kills without committing Chrono. Mm -hmm. I, it's what makes him like what we call a slower hero, because if you're a support and you see a Void time walk in, you know that he has a Chrono to kill you. Otherwise, you just walk away, stun him, and run. And by going for the Helm of Dom, that possibility now doesn't exist because you've got a stun follow-up, you can then get the time dilation, it allows right. you to get a few more auto attacks off, uh, and it lets you actually pressure heroes on the map. Because this Bane, if he goes for the channel Fiend's Grip, you, if you have a creep with you at all times, you're almost always going to be able to dispel it yourself. Yeah. So I think it speeds up the process of the hero and allows him to transition from the mid game into the late game, which is what this hero's been suffering from for quite some time. Or he spotted the Absor. He saw him for a moment in the trees, so he tried to catch him there. Oh, hey. okay, just a uh, huh? straight up supernova. They don't have a TP. is going to burrow himself deeper and deeper in until he can get the TP out. Old 11. Do you get a time walk into the right spot? He is not. That was another wasted supernova. I... This used to be a Lanham hero. Yeah, Lanham is just using them. He's just tossing them out. All right. Like, there's no cooldown. <laughs> Might as well, but no, there's 90 seconds on the deck. Yeah, that's a big team fight spell. Yeah, that's the way that you're going to deal with uh, the Kunkka's rum, I think, too. Mm -hmm. So when he tries to push forward, you just pop the supernova. He can't ever get the combo off on you. Right. And it forces them to deal with that first. Secret. I'll Slight lead for Secret. Could he be even bigger here as they catch Fenrir? Missed the torrent. Doesn't matter, obviously. Secret have brought four heroes here. They thought maybe it would be a team fight. Not the case. Vici Gaming just leave Fenrir to die. Helmetom also helps you with farming, right? Yeah. And it turns Void into a uh, split pusher. Yeah. The way that Dota works is, if you want to ever make plays, you need to split push the map, open it up, force a hero to show up on one side of the map, uh, then you get a little bit more information, mm -hmm. and you can just smoke to that area, because you'll have vision there most likely. It also makes it easier for your supports to play too, because they can be more aggressive with their warding. The more that the lanes are pushed in, the more that your supports get to get a little bit deeper on the map, and actually place meaningful wards. Yeah. Whereas if you're always dealing with uh, the creeps right in front of you, where are you really going to ward? You've got a smoke to do it yourself. Right. And smokes become so much more valuable as the game goes on. Ganking and even just putting yourself behind a core that's farming, that takes time. Yeah. You can't have a support just being the one to hit creeps all the time. Creeps determine everything in this game, man. Void's going to go for the Blink Dagger next. Trying to open up in position. I, re I like this item build by him. I think from game number one, they learned that whoever gets to jump off first is usually going to win the fights. Yeah. Or if you can counter initiate, and the Blink Dagger allows you to do both in this game. Uh, what do you think about the build that Simail has been going for? Is yeah, we're it's... actually going to watch Puppy? I think he does that because EG is greedy with stuns. Yeah. Oh, Centaur? 
in the thick of things. Uh, what do you mean by that? You mean they don't have a whole lot of stuns, or yeah. you mean they they just want more? A lot. In the game against Maneski, they only had one stun. Yeah. That was... That was have... <laughs> it was the chrono, and that was it. <laughs> Whenever he used the chrono, Maneski were like, ah, let's end the game. Yeah. That game ended pretty quickly as a result. It's like he missed one chrono and then the game was over. Yeah. Here we've got plenty of different uh, opportunities for Disable. Old Eleven doesn't need to be the be-all, end-all initiator. He can hit some good chronos sometimes, but other times he's going to have Ori jumping in. They've got the Fiend's Grip in reaction to whatever Secret are going to try and do. Even the Supernova's decent one. Puppy's gonna run to the smoke gank that Fiji Gaming threw out. They're gonna go ahead and Chrono Sphere him. Again, not feeling too pressured, but the lasso with just a Shadow Demon down. They can actually fight this one. They are gonna be able to get the control, but nice imprisonment. As he comes back, he's gonna have the Phoenix heal over the top. Vici Gaming are gonna be able to get 11 out alive. Now Fauna jumps forward. Time to license, slowing him down. The man to get the kill though with a beautiful torrent. Landing on Ori. Ori. He has to turn and fight. He is dead. Secret, just ball up and run at Vici Gaming, win a big team fight. Now gonna try and take that tier one tower. Thanks to the buyback on Puppy, they felt confident. Not sure if it actually made the difference, but it definitely made Secret feel confident they could take the engagement. Yeah, Puppy must be super confused right now because they just opened up the, with the chrono on them. Yeah. Vici must be thinking that that was just a solo engagement. Like they were yeah. just gonna grab the SD and that was that. But Secret... Because in that situation, it should be a tiny, right? Yeah. Just blowing them up. Ten seconds later, most of your spells are off cooldown. Not a big deal. No, that's completely correct. If you commit the tiny there, he just goes in, kills the SD. You can continue to move on. But they didn't have any other follow-up. And Lanham also didn't get his egg off once again. You could see as a result, Secret. They they saw him go down. They're like, we're fighting this one. Fada, 100%. If they, if they could have actually just blown up 11 here, it would have even looked maybe even better for them. They could have just ran, killed Eleven, and then immediately gone for Paparazzi afterwards. As a result, though, they did kind of have to chase for these extra kills. And I like how aggressive Fada's playing. Blinks forward into four heroes, no yeah. fear. He was pivotal there. Very nice initiation. Highest net worth in this game. Not easy for the Bat Rider oh, to do. Oh, the Epicenter with the lasso. They're going to pull him into it, see if they can blow him up. But the Imprisonment save once again. The Burl Shrek is just half a second too late. Now Paparazzi drops oh, Paparazzi. the ultimate to slow down these heroes. But Eleven, he's still in fighting shape. Even if Paparazzi is gone, they're going to get the sleep out. Doesn't really slow down. Ace, the Fiend's Grip is there, though. And they don't really have a disable out anytime soon to be able to stop that one. Because Ori is pounced on the Sand King. He's killed him. And haste himself away. They lost Paparazzi. Gave up his life for Eleven there. Not normally what you'll see a carry do, but Vici Gaming are willing to do that for each other. I thought that was crazy for a second. I was like, mm -hmm. why is this OD trading his life willingly? And somehow it kind of works out. There's a nice follow-up. They needed those kills, especially on the ace. They need to slow down any of the cores on the side of Team Secret. It really does seem like that Vici Gaming is looking a little bit different than many of the other Chinese teams who have already been eliminated. Eliminated. We've been talking all week long on the panels how the, they've been playing quite slow, that they focus a little bit too much on farm, not playing enough smoke ganks, not being aggressive enough on these hero kills. Vici Gaming, they are definitely matching the pace that Secret wants to take in this game. Yeah. The one thing I noticed about the other three teams that got eliminated today is whenever they go for these one-off maneuvers, it never feels like they're satisfied with just getting one kill. It feels as though the other teams needed to go for like these huge engagements mm. and everyone just out greeted them or out farmed and then got into a position where they were able to just bludgeon them with their superior net worth mm. uh, or positioning and this time around it feels as though Vici like the play goes to show you how they think about the game when they went for the mid play on a puppy there's like chrono him and get a kill and move yeah it's okay if we don't get this giant five on five team fight yeah we're not newbie we don't need to just be all in on the five-man engagement. We could take these little kills, continue to grind whatever advantage we can. Of course, they're not actually the ones in the oh. advantage. I hear a Chronosphere, and that is on an illusion, I believe. Oh. Oh, dear. Still, that's it goes to show you, Eleven's like, nah, so never was, scared. I think it was just a Shadow Demon self-disruption illusion. He just, I didn't see. Hmm. Set up at the bottom lane. Yapsor by himself is certainly not enough to kill Paparazzi. He's got 1,700 HP, but maybe Ace with an Invis rune. Now there's an idea. That's what we're talking about, by the way. 11 is never scared to make that play. 
Can't get gunshy. Yeah. Secret smoked up. Trying to look for something right now. This is a very nice play from them. Connecting to uh, the wave that's already at the tower. But they know that no one's going to go there. So they're looking towards mid. And if they don't get it, I think they just hit this tower instead. It's a free tier 2. If no one's here to defend it. Oh, look baby. at how far Ace has pushed. They really want this kill though. They're still looking around that mid lane. Finally though. At least you already have Ace hitting that bottom tier 2. Vici Gaming not getting anywhere near it. They are, they're kind of playing spread out on the left hand side of the map and near top. It's where Eleven's going to be playing right now, trying to hit this tier 2 now. Fada's already set up and he's going to be able to get a lasso combination with Yastro, but they need the beautiful combination to be perfect. And they don't even get the start on it. Eleven's spider senses were tingling there. And Secret back out of bottom because they know that they've shown two of their initiators up at top. That's going to scare them a little. OD has the BKB now completed. We have a Blink Dagger coming in for the oh, Chaos he's... Knight Secret playing They're on the high on ground here. The They're going to run into Ori or not. Ori's going to go the safe and long way. Not greedy at all. Smart man, now Shadow Blade. Smoke. But now there's a Sentry lying in wait. Is Ori going to stumble into this trap? There's everyone from Secret here. And on the flip side, Vici, they don't have their Void. He does have a TP if necessary. So Secret, their trap didn't work, so now they're gonna try and force it onto the OT, but already, Lanham Sal trying to protect the paparazzi as best as possible. He's actually got a BKB with a Supernova, a supernova. already the Fiend's Creep as well. Ace comes in, blows up at least one, actually the Nightmare protection for a moment. Now he managed to get a kill with a Supernova stun on Ace, as well as that percentage-based damage from the Phoenix is gonna be easily enough to clean up one core. They're gonna look for more, Fauna. He is away. He was inside those trees, but didn't get vision of him in time. Vici Gaming felt like secret. They just, they wanted the kill so badly. They committed to sitting on that high ground for so long. And then because they didn't get it, they just kind of forced it. Yeah, they were willing to take that fight because they had vision. Yeah, so kind of get blown up potentially. No, gets the stun off. It's a little bit away, but now the Chronos here is going to be able to catch him. 11, no care. He takes those. That's what I'm talking about. He's always willing to commit those single man chronos. Get the kill, get out. And what it means is another 30 seconds where Secret is going to be down a man. As the Chaos Knight and Shattered Demon come back up, Sand King will be gone, but Vici Gamer are not going to push their luck. Feeling good about the game. They're not going to go for that tier two. Back up, farm some more. It is beginning. Blitz Dota to feel a little bit like a repeat of game one. It's different though, because they have a lot more initiation and ways to deal with the waves. So they don't have to hard commit to these fights as much. The reason why they took that fight was because they had vision for so long in that area. And if you commit over a minute to being down there and you walk away with nothing, that is rough. Because you know that Vici is just farming during that time period. Yeah. And they thought that the OD was separated enough from the rest of his team. But Vici were so fast. And look at this Phoenix. Has a fully completed Shiva's guard. That is massive. Attack speed is already a big problem yeah, for these heroes. Yeah, it's great against the CK. He has been mopping up the CK right now. That yeah. percentage based damage and the heal is so nice for his team. It's great. OD's gonna get the Hurricane Pike. Would you at least agree that it's similar to game one in that Vici Gaming do have the better late game and they are in kind of control of the game, so they're okay with just chilling out a little bit, playing on their side of the map and just farming some more? Yeah, they've got Chrono and Supernova, which is such a strong combination. Yeah. That was a combo that OG used to used to wreck with. Mm -hmm. Remember at Manila Major, uh, I think they took like two games off of Liquid with that combo. They're not even really like fully utilizing it either. No, we haven't seen a, a single single time where he popped the the supernova and forced some heroes around him and get caught by the chronosphere yeah. as a result. I think that was the first supernova that we saw like stun and get off. Yeah. We saw the one at top, but that one was trying to find the app store. Speaking of him, he's trying to push out bottom lane some more, keep that pressure on the tier two open up opportunities for Team Secret to get some kills because they do have such great killing heroes with the Blink Dagger on the Chaos Knight. They can get on top of somebody and blow them up very quickly. 
They just haven't found those openings yet because Vici Gaming refused to split up. They are staying around each other almost nonstop. Yeah. What I'd like Secret to do is deal with this bottom wave. When somebody from Vici goes to take that top farm, you can go for another smoke. And which way are you going to head with that smoke? You're going to try and catch the... You smoke to where you have vision. Okay. Oh, might be able to catch him here. 11 come out. Chronosphere again. And he's got the centaur outside of pit, so we can follow that stun up with a little bit of extra duration. Dominating streak ends up going to Pop Rotsi for 420 gold. Roshan is available. Vici Gaming. You don't have a great Roche taking team again, but they are going to go for it again. Yeah. I mean, this time around, it's a little what was the difference? Void is not bad at this. Yeah. They don't have a solar press, so this is going to take some time, and I think Secret should fight this. They may not have Chronosphere. They do have Supernova. Actually, Paparazzi coming outside of the pit. Now goes the Sheevas initiation from Ori as well, trying to blow up Puppy and the Fiend's Grip in the back line onto Ace. Now, he managed to stop that Fiend's Grip, turns, goes for all the left with the BKB, but the time walk is going to be able to go off in time, and Ace is already dead. Supernova Save is going to be Phoenix. able to survive. They're going to be able to get the stun. Mid one, he's going to die as well. Look at Lotham just jumping forward. He's going to try and find extra heroes. Here comes but the Epicenter from the top. The lasso, the Epicenter coming in. They're going to try and finish this one up. It's a lot of damage. Well. It's a time walk away. Try and activate it. Yeah. Or and Fada fighting this all by themselves against five of Beachy Gaming, and it goes about as well as you would expect. Yeah, they are healthy enough to fight. The Ray from the Phoenix is so effective at countering so much of that damage, they're just gonna walk into the Roach Pit again. Four heroes dead on the side of Secret Lanem, and that was just a great team fight by them. They protect the egg. You saw that the Kunska wasted the majority of his time just trying to hit the egg. The sleep goes down at the last second. Fada is going to get caught out here. Does not have a BKB. This might be five down. Make four that secret. a five-man wipe. Vici Gaming one up in this best of three elimination series against Team Secret. Have now wiped them and are 8k up with a Roshan in their pockets. Yeah, and I love that they didn't try to commit to finishing the Roche. They just went aggressive on the fight. Mm -hmm. They push forward. Secret doesn't have the best vision around that area. And that seems to be the key in both games is that Vici are just out visioning them. They're playing faster on the map, even though it doesn't take them. They don't get the fastest Roshan. They force the fight out of Secret. And this Phoenix just being this farmed. And he's so hard to catch out to. He can push some of these waves, but look how tanky it, it, he is. You could see Paparazzi. They had the vision on the high ground. He immediately blinks for it. Even if his initiation doesn't work, it sets up the rest of his team to be able to jump in fearlessly. And they just blow up so many heroes. Ace took so long to be able to get off his Phantasm. By the time he turns, Old Eleven can just time walk once and his team has already killed Ace. They didn't even need the Chrono for that fight, is the scariest part. Yeah. And here was the Bobby, time where they Davis. tried to turn with the Epicenter combination, but wasn't ever going to be enough damage to really put in a, a dent. Puppy gets the disruption off. The follow-up sun is there. Burrow Strike, now he does have an Aegis, so Secret don't want to overcommit for this one. They want to poke and prod at him, but now Vici gave me the magic catch the back line already. Min Wan is in a little bit of trouble as Supernova has gone down. They can't win this fight with the Chronosphere as well as the Fiend Trip controlling up the two cores. Supernova will su explode successfully, and now Min Wan, he's already lost A, so he's got to get out of here, but the Sun Ray already doing a good amount of damage. The Absor comes back in with the Epicenter, but still not enough damage to be able to kill any of these heroes from Vici Gaming. Core supports, it doesn't matter. They'll all survive. Looking healthy. A tier two is up next. Vici Gaming taking all challengers from Secret right now. They are playing so aggressively. Once they get the numbers advantage, they swarm. You see how decisive they are in the fight. As soon as they win any sort of engagement, they get one hero. They all start to rush forward. Look, Look at them at him go. Just diving into the fountain. This is necessary. what we're talking about. They're going to take mid one down. Meanwhile, the Bane is refusing to let Vada get back to base so easy. Keeps on sleeping him up while his team He's goes trying to the tier time. threes. He, do he knows. He doesn't have to do a whole lot here. He's just battling with Fada, making sure he stays around the area. He's got sleep in a second. It's another nightmare in. And his team about to take Rax. And without Fada there, in a way for them to clear this, he just continues to battle. The Bane's life for the Batriders, this is well worth it for them. Well, that's one set of racks. They're going to go for more straight up to top lane. See if they can actually catch the Chaos Knight while he's so separated from his team.
Where's he going on to? He's going to need to TP there. soon. He's going to try and TP. They need the vision. Not going to be able to get it back over to the base. They've actually gotten the lasso. Maybe Vici Gaming. They've gotten ahead of themselves here. They've separated. They give the free Faceless Void kill away. And now might just lose a fight as well. The blink away from the OD. That'll be some good separation. Secret are still hot in pursuit, and they are going to be able to hit Phoenix. Phoenix, who does not have a dime for another 10 seconds, but they need a little bit more. Now to jump back in with the double damage. Phantasm goes out. They're going to have to fight through this one. Fata stays alive, but no, the tree comes out. Finish him off. Almost kills Puppy as well, but Ace, he just can't seem to do enough damage. He's being chased away with the Supernova as well as the Imprisonment. Ace is struggling out here, being kited around by all of Ichi Gaming. Epicenter coming back in. It's just not enough. The heal is keeping Ori alive. Yaptor Bro strike through. Doesn't do enough. Ichi Gaming white secret again. Take number two. Lanem with that Phoenix is just doing so much. They cannot engage this Phoenix. And now they're gonna go for the second racks. The crowd coming alive. They sense this game number two. They can read the game. They know that secret is all but down and out. They're going to need a miracle to stop Vici Gaming as they're going to be able to take a second lane of ranks. There is still a mid tier two up. So Vici Gaming, unless they're going to go for Throne here, won't be able to end the game just yet. Yeah, it's just such a punishing style that they play. This team, they are not content to just get one kill. Anybody from Secret shows themselves for half a second. They get picked off. They go for the follow up immediately. And that's the best part about this team is they're always looking for the follow up. How many times we've seen the Phoenix, the Bane, every single time they're jumping forward looking for more heroes. Ori's has done it as well. Almost got the level 20 on the Phoenix. Looks like he's going to get uh, the Aeon Disc. Ah, good choice with the 500 health talent as well. Yeah, it's going to make him just became impossible to take down. It means that the Batrider, even if he gets a jump, he's always going to get the Supernova off. Yeah. And we're seeing how effective this Phoenix is. Ladam says, I'm the most important hero for our team fights, the Sunray is doing too much, the Supernova is too effective. If you can make this greedy four position work, it's so good, and once again... Just keep using those Chronospheres, 11. It's working out. Never stop. Saiyan King down, Vici Gaming. Still need to take that tier two. They can do it pretty much whenever they want at this point in time. There's no no need to rush too much. Yeah. And we have yet to see Secret start the fight. <laughs> the Pope. Anything to stop the push. It's not going to be able to catch all the creeps, though, so Tier 2 is still exposed. Yeah. 11 doesn't have the Chrono, but with the numbers advantage alone, this is still going to prompt them to play aggressively. They grab the Tier 2 tower. They're going to go for the Shrine. Who is going to initiate on? It's complicated because I would have set the Phoenix before the Aeon this pickup. Mm. At this point, it's almost certainly the Phoenix that you have to start the fight on. But I don't even know where the follow-up damage comes from. And it feels like void. Puppy's hero is a non-factor at this point. Yeah. Like, the Bane is doing so much in these engagements. Well, we're going to see a real non-factor. Long dive in with the supernova, the supernova already gone out. And they can protect it any time they want, if necessary. Ori is ready to go with that avalanche. The supernova explodes. Now the buyback's coming out. They're going to immediately swarm in and take out the Bane. Old 11, he's going to be slowed down as well. Time block, but he got hit by the axe. So he's going to be pulled back into Ace with all those illusions out. This is a loss for Vici Gaming. They have to give up on this fight. A buyback already out. Oh, no. Phoenix, he's actually Yule Scepter out. Lotus Storm goes down, Ori turns, tries to kill the hero, disruption save. It's going to be out for Yaptor, enough time for him to be able to get the burrow strike away. Now, it's going to be the OD who's targeted here, burst down pretty easily. Secret, keep on pushing forward, look for more heroes. They need everybody here. Lana. He may not have any on this anymore, and so he is an easy pick up. The buyback from the faceless void may have just exposed Vici Gaming a little bit. Look at that gold dip. And they were leading by so much, but... Even with that, still a 22k lead, but that is nearly 6,000 gold exchanged. And 14,000 experience, too. <laughs> <laughs> that is an absurd number. Puppy's almost going to get his level 20 as a result of that. Same with Yapsor. Might be decent levels. Do we have any, like, big level 25? I mean, we've got level 20 for the Chaos Knight, which just picked up, which he hasn't decided yet. Okay, he goes for the P 
Pierce is spell immune, so you can grab and pull back these heroes like yeah. the Void when he tries to time walk away. The other one's the GPM, right? Yeah, 150. But I don't know if he thinks that the game is going <laughs> to yeah. potentially last that long. We're going to see the replay here. The X, perfect timing there, right as he was about to time walk out. Yeah, paparazzi moved so far forward. And it was at this point that we have the buyback out from the Void, but all he has to TP to is a Shrine at the bottom lane. Yeah, There's so, a small glimmer of hope, though, that yes. I could see Secret still winning this game. It, but it starts with catching the Void. Yeah. Now it, you have a clear Batrider target. Lottom, last one dead in that engagement. Now Vici Gaming, they got to play a little bit careful. Before, it felt like their game was 100% theirs. Now, there's just that 1% chance of error if they manage to get a dieback on that void. Secret might be able to build up a little bit of momentum here. So they're going to smoke up, play for a pickoff first. They know that they may have blown a buyback, but so has Secret. Both their supports bought back in the last engagement. And you would not be too upset with a kill on that Sand King, that's for sure. Yeah, they're waiting to catch anybody. They would commit the Chrono to just catch the Void at this point. Get any target that doesn't have the buyback. They don't find anything, but they don't force it either. Now they're going to swoop on to the bottom lane, deal with Fada, split pushing. Might just be able to catch him, but he blinks away. And he is going far. The Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. 11 when we said, go ahead, throw it. It's not quite what I envisaged, but you know, my dude's got no fear. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's not reading Twitch chat. There's no Reddit in China. He doesn't care. He's just going to throw those out. Well, from what I hear, the China viewers are even more savage. He doesn't read that either. Yeah. He's like, no, nope, no forums for me. Offlaners can't read social media. <laughs> Level 25 is coming in for Vici Gaming. Paparazzi just picked up his. We also had Ori getting the uh, toss charges. I can't believe he just he just keeps throwing those out. That was so optimistic. <laughs> I mean, he knew that Batrider had a gem he was, like, too, in the area. so... Still, that... You die, you live by the old 11, you die by the... <laughs> Listen, Blitz, you miss 100% of Chronospheres, you don't shoot, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they know Roshan is up. That's why Secret smoked up. Trying to make a play aggressively into this. This is probably one of their better opportunities to catch Beachy. They know there's no Chrono. That's the bigger part. Fadas play at bottom, put them in a position where they could still potentially win this. He's now fire flight up. Fada starts looking. Now it's a little bit hard. There's a Shrine. There's also a Phoenix on the front lines who has that Aeon disc, so he's a hard target to go for first. Yeah, it's that Phoenix that... Meanwhile, you have bottom lane pushing in. It's already they hitting the tier fours. So there's no doubt about it. Vici Gaming knows what's happening here. Yeah, they should be... They should confirm every suspicion that they have. And as soon as somebody defends, do they go for the Roche themselves? Oh, that is a tier four that that yeah. went down. That is an exposed throw now. Puffy's trying to deal with it, but he's not having the easiest time. These siege creeps. Doing their work. Secret. They still know that this is a fight. They can't give up the Aegis. Yeah, they're going to try and defend this in a four versus five. You don't want to jump on the Phoenix. They don't want to go for the position. Phoenix. You can see Fada. He's so far forward. Yeah. He wants them to go on him. Begging them. Fada, please lasso me. Pull me into the Chaos Knight. See what happens. Yeah, Fada, though, is not. Or he's going to come outside the pit. See if he can actually catch some heroes. And he does. He managed to catch Fada. BKB activated. Lasso is so not going to survive very long. The the top. And there goes the Supernova. Secret are not targeting that. They've already locked inside the Chronos here. So that will be a successful explosion. And Ace is already down to half HP with the Firefly on him. He is definitely dead. Now more. They're going to get the sleep on the mid one. Down to half HP with just the OD ultimate. Another imprisonment. Neo on the back line. Fada is already dead. Aladdin catches him. Mid one. Body blocked up by Lana. Everyone's buying back. Getting paparazzi full swing. Multiple buybacks here. You have to Gem win this on fight. The deck ace. He's so many caught. heroes. He does not have any allies near him. Sight the buy stuff. That's a dieback secret. Where is the hope? Vici Gaming. They're spamming time. There is just about to 2 0 team secret. No doubt they were the underdogs coming into this one. Even if we said this is going to be the closest match of the day.
I'm not sure how many people expected them to just 2-0 secret like this. They're going to go in for one final fight. Beachy Gaming, though, they are going to stop secret out of this one. The boat comes in, hits Fenrir. Mid one, having a hard time just dealing with the support. And now Big Daddy 11 is here. He's going to start beating on mid one, forcing him out of that one. The long dive in with the Chiva's back, trying to get away with the BKB, but it's not going to make it out. They'll fight to the bitter end. Mid one, the last man down before secret are out the DAC. Wow. And you can tell that the Chinese crowd have been waiting to cheer for anyone, really. They've been <laughs> here all day waiting to get some cheers in. Yeah, they'll take it. They're like, I guess we're Vichy Gaming fans now. Yep, and this has got to be the biggest win for them. Oh, Vichy. And to end the day, salvaging things for China Dota. And it's going to be at Secret's expense. Secret looks so strong coming into this tournament, winning the Dream League Minor without dropping a single...